Bonjour. I haven't been very good at filming today. Um, we had coffee, walked around town, and now we are at the Palace of Versailles, the marble courtyard, which is the original portion uh, that Louis the Thirteenth started. Everything is cast in gold. It's beautiful. Gonna do some exploring. Fourteen dollars, fourteen euros. Not like I think I'm not rich. So that's what they consider the original quaint hunting lodge. It's so crazy, it's like room after room after room after room. And now we are in this massive hall. So insane. And then there is a beautiful painted ceiling. Talk about magnificent. It's like a tree. This I think rooms like this are my favorite. This is the real Hall of Mirrors. Hall of Mirrors. This is generally one of my favorite rooms. All of the mirrors can fail like a bajillion of my houses inside of it. It's in that feeling. We need to know more history about these types of places as Americans because I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like, I want to know how original this stuff is. This is crazy. This is another one of my favorite rooms. I keep thinking everybody's on the phone. Everybody has the little listening device we want. Totally see me just taking up camp here. I think I would get lost in my own house. I'd have to spend all day trying to find Michael. Hello. Hello. Where are thou? We have exited to the gardens. Oh, it feels good. I needed a drink too. I think that taking a nap down there would be the vibe. We've been walking the potted trees. There's like pomegranate, lemons, oranges. Ornamental bushes. Um, I really want to know what one of these oranges tastes like. I'm gonna find out. The doors are crazy. This place is crazy. It's so beautiful. Another one of my favorite areas. God, the gardens are beautiful. Look how far away it goes down to. And the use of gold again. Insane. And this naked statue.
We are back in Perry and got gelato. Okay. Trying to figure out what we want to eat for dinner. Parked by the Eiffel Tower, which is right behind me. Oh, the my back was nice, nice and relaxing. I'm so sore today, but. Main course. Dinner was delicious. Michael liked his escargot for the first time. He tried it for the first time, like he liked it. But, um, we want, I wanted snacks, and we needed laundry soap, so we need to the musky. Well, we got our snacks, and um, yummies. I have my orange from Versailles. I was like, I can't steal that. And I was like, God gave it to me. <laughs> he said, your nose is going to fall off. But uh, I'm headed back to the Airbnb to drop off the snacks and groceries. Probably start a little laundry. I want to take a couple of wine glasses in my wine that I bought. Maybe to the park. We've had a great little evening at the park. Brought some wine. And now we are headed back to the b and Oh, I love Paris. Paris has been my favorite so far. I really like London, but I like Paris more. I'm so tired from, I think we probably did 15 miles today. But yeah, so um, <laughs> yeah that's considered a rest. Good morning, sweet world. We are up nice and early this morning. Um, we are headed to uh, bakery to get croissant and espresso um, this, and we are going to the Louvre today I got a chocolate and cream croissant and an espresso and then I got what, some pop of it but, so we got our espresso and croissant and I devoured it and then I got Starbucks on top of it. For the little espressos from the cafes are exquisite. Um, found this little, it's kind of like a farmer's market. Thing. Oh, it's cool. Fish, vegetables, clothes, flowers. I wonder what the name of this is. Pools. Anyway, we're gonna keep walking. Checking everything out. Oh, that looks delicious. So we went to the park in the middle of the river. And the mini statue of liberty. So beautiful. And then underneath the bridge here, there's a whole like permanent gym. Walking back through the little gym thing I was talking about. I was like, we don't do this, but Americans are back, so that is good. See? Like a whole legitimate gym underneath the bridge. Come on, Americans. Ooh, and the ground is like bouncy. Like playground ground, you know? Gotta learn to live from the French. 
You can see the Eiffel Tower from my Blue Bay. And onward we go. Across the street from us, there is a couple that looks like they just got married and they're taking pictures in the middle of the road. They just stopped in the middle of the road on a Corvette to take pictures. <laughs> okay, I mean, so funny. Um, These are some of my favorite buildings. And you're never too far from my car. At least it's where we're staying. We made it to the Arc de Triomphe. It is way bigger in person than I ever imagined. Sort of insane. And we came through like the Manhattan-esque Fifth Avenue type Paris. But all the Paris has been kind of fancy, so it's all kind of been Manhattan-esque. And we're going to move you around more. Maybe go underneath it and then go to the Louvre. Now we're underneath it, obviously. But the scale My boat's kind of overwhelmed by the number of people here. It is insane. But I think most people are just here to take pictures. But it is beautiful. Fresh, I always say beautiful. Michael's on a bit head. I don't think you can film inside. I'm not 100% sure, but we will see. But I think it's more like cat. Just so much to see that I'm trying to figure out what we want to see. This has to be like millions of square feet. I could probably come here every day for a year and see something new. It's insane. It's like, what category do you want to see? I think this is one of my favorite parts. We're in the Egyptian section. This stuff is so old. So it almost fainted. Cut down and got back up really fast to take a picture. And the heart rate went to like 170. I was like, oh. Then it gave me anxiety. <laughs> But you can still get 
a good shot from like the side. It's really warm in here. And also a little fate feeling. There she is. I'll, I'll take a picture and I'll show you all of the model statues. Some statues. Okay. What was it that we just took pictures of over there? Venus. Venus. I think that the Venus, the Vila, and the Mona Lisa are two of the most popular attractions in the museum. This place is insanely big though. We're gonna take a little breather. I love it. We are in the first basement. There's okay. two basements, um, but this is the original blue structure. Apparently it started in 1200 and then you know, obviously got more modern as time went on. It's cool seeing from the different stone types. You can really see like there the different construction materials. They had like a dissection of the wall over there and it had like um, shelves and stuff in there. And then you get to the modern, like polished, for lunch. It's like 4 o'clock though, so we are eating late lunch. We plan on getting some Thai food for dinner tonight. Um, which is going to be the thing to get Thai food out of but um, we're at the same place we went to on my birthday. It's really cute. It's right on the corner from where we're staying. No comments. Yeah. We're gonna do this and then probably just chill somewhere. It's really warm. I put short on. Um, yeah. What did you Lunch. Lunch game. Zadka, lemoncello, and pizza. And then we Cacciolato, pistacha, vanilli, that's all, but it's good, it's like a routine now. Alright, B&B is a very good one. Anyway, it's gonna enjoy the bonjour. So if you're ever in the um, Commerce District, a peri. You need to go to Bangkok Express. It was delicious. Um, and they were amazing hosts. Felt like you were eating with family, basically. Um, we had a good time. We went back, grabbed a wine, and we're back at the same park as yesterday. And we'll drink some wine until they blow the whistle, which means we have to leave. <laughs> which I love. There are a lot of people here tonight. But it was a very warm, beautiful day. I love all of the little flower beds.